Here's a new toy I bought for myself. I've always been fascinated by key machines and key cutting, so I bought a key machine. This is kind of cool. I'm setting it up and figuring out how to use it right now. You've got the guide plate that drops down and it lines the keys up for you. We're going to lower the guide plate, slide the original key over so that the edge of the key stop rests against the guide plate. Then we're going to install the blank key on the opposite side in the same manner so that the stop on that rests against the guide plate on the other side. Visually verify and double check both sides before you start cutting. You don't want to make a mistake. And now we're going to turn the machine on and we're going to line up the point of our tool with the back of the stop plate and start moving the cutting wheel gently across the face of the old new key. And you can see it's cutting through very easily. The most of the keys are made out of brass, so they cut really easily. And then there you go, the first path is done. I always seemed like it seemed like a good idea to me to go backwards, back over it one more time to make sure you didn't miss any high spots. Unclamp the key. See, that's right like that. Easy to do. And you take the key itself, the new key, and you buff it up on a little wheel on the side. And I gotta recommend not to wear gloves or loose clothing when you're working on any turning wheel. Or brush because it can catch it in even though this brush isn't particularly sharp all right moment of truth here we got our new key in this worn out old lock so it should be friend oh look at that it worked yep. i say it should be plenty of free play and room for error in an old lock like this yeah yeah look worked. at that pops right open nevertheless it still works how much did i pay for this 100 and a quarter something like, like that a, there was 125 i think but yeah. you got like it a came bunch with, of blanks it came with a whole rack full of key blanks, four sides of that rack full of key blanks. Although so far, none of them have actually been the ones I've needed for any project, but you know, there's always hope and I can buy the key blanks are insanely cheap to buy. Oh, so if you're in Michigan and need a key, stop on by and I'll try and make it for you. Thanks for watching and have a great day and bye for now.